All right, guys, you know what? I am gonna change up my format when it comes to diving. You know what, there are so many things to film in the ocean. It's like on the land. You know, you got the trees and stuff. You got animals, it's under the ocean. There's so much to film. You know, what do you want to film? You know, you got the coral. You got hard coral, soft coral, bubble coral, whip coral. There's so many species and they're so beautiful. Everything is alive. You know, you've got every color of this of the rainbow down there and they're fluorescent colors and they pop. You know, you can just key in on the coral if that's what you want to do. I mean, and you could spend hours down there and just filming the coral. It's just, it's beautiful. It's alive. Um, you can spend your time just doing the bigger fish. There's so many species of big fish down there. You know, you got once again, every color of the rainbow down there. You got fish that swim in schools. You got fish that are solo fish. You know, you got big fish, small fish, medium fish. It's what do you want to focus on while you're down there? Lut loves to fish. Lut loves filming the fish. Um, they're all beautiful. Then you had the little tiny little critters, right? The tiny little uh, um, animals down there and that most people just kind of swim by because they're so small they don't notice them that's what i like to film when you look at the video it'll appear that these little tiny things are real big but they're not they're real tiny they could be as tiny as you know my pinky nail um half the half the size of my pinky um there's tiny little shrimp down there there's tiny, tiny little crabs down there. Um, there's so many tiny things down there. Nudibranchs. You'll hear me talk about these nudibranchs. They are neat. They're they're all different colors. The best way to kind of describe them is they're like a slug that you would see, you know, on the land. Uh, but they're in the ocean, and there's literally thousands of them around the world hundreds of them around here they're just neat those are the things i love to film i just get down and get in there and check them out and that's what i love to see so what you're going to see is a lot of the tiny little creatures that most people just swim by and what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to walk you through and talk you through the video so you kind of know what you're looking at um, if I know the species name, I'm going to let you know it. If I don't, um, I'll just say I, I don't know it, um, the, the name of it. Um, no! But yeah, it's just, I got to change something up um, to let you guys kind of know what you're looking at. Um, not only that, it gives me, you know, time, you know, it gives me some research to do and, and uh, get the names of these uh tiny little critters down there so anyways with that i'm gonna roll this film and like i said i'm gonna talk you through what you're looking at and i uh, hope you enjoy it all right guys so like i was saying the coral down there is just so beautiful and colorful i mean look at the greens look at the whites look at the yellows they're just amazing and they're just they're everywhere you look there's some purplish blue coral coming up on some white coral. I mean, there's, these are alive. Everything you look at, the coral, everything's alive. There's some really beautiful white coral there. Those there, it's, it's almost like they're breathing. They're sucking in the air or sucking in the water, filtering out the water, feeding, you know, the coral itself. Next thing is this beautiful map puffer fish. There's so many puffer fish out there and so many species, but that's a map puffer fish. He was big and beautiful and he stood there for a while and then, boop, out he went. Then I came across this little guy here. He was a little crab. I don't know what it is. Obviously it's a crab, but he was in a shell about the size of the palm of my hand, just hanging out in there. So I figured, you know what? Let me check him out and let me look at him. Really neat. Here is a crab, no bigger than the size of my pinky nail, just cruising along. 
but look at the colors in them. The whites and the red and the pattern. Just beautiful. Then these guys, these are baby Nemo eggs. You can see Nemo there protecting it, but all what you're looking at there are baby Nemo eggs. This is a snake eel, that's what I was told. Completely buried in the sand, just had his head up out of the sand, looking around, open air, but it's a snake eel. Another puffer fish. You can see different patterns, different size. Look at the eyes. Just another big, beautiful puffer fish. I think he was sleeping and I think I woke him up. Now we're coming up on the nudie breaks. I want you to look at these nudie breaks. Look at the different sizes, the patterns, the colors. If you notice on the tips of their head, they kind of look like horns. And then towards the rear, you can see the rear there. They call them a butt feather. There's, there's a technical term for it. But what I want you to do is pay attention to just the colors of them. They're just amazing. They're bright and they pop. And look at this one, this yellow. Yellow and white and blue. And they're, they're about the size of, some of them are about the size of half of my pinky, some are the size of my pinky. They're all different shapes and sizes, but check it out. A green one with those orange color in it. You can see the butt feathers on the back, the horns on the back. Just an amazing little creature, a nudie bird. There's a white one. Boy, that was beautiful. White and black. And look at the spots on them. It's got those black round spots with tiny little dots inside. Bud feathers are black, his horns are black, just amazing. This little guy here, a little little shrimp, I don't know the name of it, but every time I went to film him, check it out, he kept hiding in this little hole there. I could never get a good shot at him. This is called a glass shrimp. Clear, tiny little thing, but look at the colors, look at his little balls, his little pinchers, how he's just working them, looking for food, but crystal clear. This is what I was told is called a sexy shrimp. If you look at his little tail and he's moving it around, it's like he's shaking his butt around. And if you look in the distance, there's another one back there, but this is what they call a sexy shrimp. Another nudie break. These two were just there kind of hanging out. Uh, I was told if the head's facing one way and the other head's facing the other way that they're breeding. That's what I was told. Look at this one, a different shape. The yellows, the whites, the blacks, just another different species of the nudie bird. Once again, here's another one. Now this one was a little bit longer, I'd say about two inches long, but look at the fire red color on him in the green. Just an amazing little tiny creature. Chocolate starfish. Everybody knows what a starfish looks like. I'll zoom in a little bit here and you can see kind of what they look like up close. Pretty neat, huh? Then I came across this starfish. I've seen blue, red, chocolate starfish, but this one was the first I've ever seen like that. That was just neat. I mean, it, it, the beautiful color on it. This is a scorpion fish. He was huge, laying there like he's playing dead. I zoom in on his face. Look how angry he looks. Very deadly fish out there called a scorpion fish. They blend into their surroundings. Then I got this big, massive lionfish. He was swimming over my right shoulder and he scared me. But another deadly, deadly fish out there, the lionfish. All right, so I hope that was uh, a little bit helpful to you guys uh, instead of me just rolling film with, you know, fish swimming and uh, the music. And I, I like doing that. I, you know, I enjoy doing that too. But 
this, like I said, this will get me doing some research and, you know, you guys knowing what you're looking at. Um, so that's, uh, I think that's how I'm going to do my format. I'm not going to every time go down there, just do them little tiny little creatures. You know, maybe sometimes I'll just do, you know, the fish. Uh, maybe sometimes I'll just do coral. But yeah, I got to, changing the format out, up. I hope you enjoyed the format and, uh, those were the videos from the past two days. So with that being said, you know what? Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Take care of the sick, the elderly, and the young. You have pets. Take care of your pets. And we'll talk to you later.